hate Vikings fans, hate sports fans, Hey, anybody that found yourself stumbling across this video, it's Jade again. I'm going to do a little bit of uh, post-game and pre-game in one. I'm going to try to keep it nice and tight, nice and nice and short. Um, so a little post-game uh, Minnesota Vikings at Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, a week ago, the Vikings won by the friggin' skin on their teeth. They won the rematch, so to speak. Uh, 23 to 21 in Philadelphia. Barely! The Vikings barely won by two points, too! Um, surprise me. I did not think they were going to win, actually. The Eagles, in my opinion, didn't really... They kind of look a little off right now. I think Carson Wentz is still trying to get used to the swing of things still. I'm not saying the Vikings did not play well. Uh, Linval Joseph had a fumble recovery for, it was either 63 or 64 yards. That was probably the highlight of that game. Not to mention um, him looking like a badass that he is on the sideline with the sunglasses, oxygen mask. I love it. He's faster than me. He's faster than... Um, anyone, I think. I mean, dude, dude can hustle. I loved it. It was, it was probably the best part of that game. Um, Adam Thielen continues to be amazing. Our Minnesota boy continues to be amazing. Um, set NFL record history with five straight games, um, opening the season with 100 plus yards, I believe it was. I gotta look at my notes. Eh, yeah, something like that. Um, but Adam Thielen continues to be playing really, really well. Uh, Stefan Diggs, too. 10 receptions for about 91 yards. He did really, really well. Cousins, Cousins did good. No, no, no turnovers. Uh, he went 30 for 37 for 300, 301 yards, 301 yards, I think. So doing good there. Um, Dan Bailey missed two. Then he went two for four, but he did make a 52-yard field goal to uh, give the Vikings the lead with two minutes, 47 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Why do the Vikings always have to make it close? Why? We had it. We should have spanked them. That's my frustration there. We really should have, we really should have kicked their ass a little bit more. I mean, we still got the win. Okay. Um, Harrison Smith with a really, 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 let's call it clutch uh, tackle. I think it was on a fourth and 20. Uh, takes down Alshon Jeffrey, so they did not make it. So thank you once again, Harrison Smith, for fixing the situation. Um, and uh, Adam Thielen, once again, had the onside kick recovery at the very end of the game there because it was getting dicey. Ah! So thank you, Adam Thielen, again. Vikings got the win um, in Philly, 23-21. Fast forward to today. Uh, the Arizona Cardinals are visiting Minnesota and I looked out the window and it is trying to be a winter wonderland out there. Shocker to no one that lives in Minnesota or lives in the Midwest. And if it is a shocker to anyone that lives here, how long have you lived here? I'm already sick of hearing about that. I'm not gonna go off on a weather tangent right now, but anybody that lives in Minnesota their whole life and they have to deal year after year with people bitching about the weather, then why do you still live here? If you hate it so much, move away then, okay? Or else just shut up about it, because we all deal with it, okay? So anyway, um, we got the Arizona Cardinals visiting the Minnesota Vikings today. Uh, the Cardinals are one in four. But, Minnesota Vikings, let's not underestimate, quote unquote, shitty teams coming in, okay? Because look what happened last time when the Buffalo Bills came to town. We got our asses handed to us at home, which is supposed to be the place where we're unbeatable. No, we're not. Anybody can beat anybody in the NFL, okay? That's just how it goes, so let's, let's have our helmets on and our game faces on today, just like normal. Um, a good one, though, Larry Fitzgerald, wide receiver for the Cardinals, uh, Minnesota, Minnesota guy. Everybody loves Larry Fitzgerald, come on. It's probably going to be his last game um, in Minnesota as a professional uh, football player. Uh, professional athlete. Uh, who knows? Maybe he'll play golf. I don't know. Um, anyway, so that'll be kind of cool, I think, to watch a little bit. Um, just like the last game, Philadelphia and Vikings, I thought it was a little bit boring. I, I don't know. I thought it was a little, a little bland. Um, but anyway, still won. So this, this week, um, hoping the Vikings can just, let's just play nice. Let's just play good. Let's get the win. Everybody do their jobs. 
Uh, Riley Reef is out, uh, left tackle. He's got a little bit of a foot thing that seems to be lingering. So I don't know if we need to worry about that yet. Um, I haven't heard anything about Delvin Cook. I think he's playing, um, but might be a little questionable there with the hamstring issue. So I think my dude Latavius Murray, come on, get us a touchdown. We need a rushing touchdown. I don't think we've had one, or the Vikings have had one yet. Um, so yeah, hoping uh, the Vikings can get just just let's play a clean game today. Um, I think Sundejo is also out. Uh, hopefully that's not too big of an issue. Everson Griffin, that still, I don't think we need to be expecting him back anytime soon. Um, but anyway, let's not underestimate the Arizona Cardinals, okay? I have to look at my notes on this one, but I just thought it was interesting. They're one and four, right? So they lost to Washington. The Cardinals lost to Washington 24 to six, okay? They lost to the Rams 34 to zero in LA. The Rams are undefeated. Okay, they lost to the Bears. The Cardinals lost to the Bears in Arizona, but that was only by two points, 16 to 14. And the Bears are, the Bears are pretty good. They lost to the Seahawks in Arizona, 20 to 17. Again, that was a very close game, very close game. Um, and then they won against the 49ers, uh, 28 to 18 by, um, there was no Jimmy Garoppolo though. That was a little bit of a difference. They won by 10 points and the Vikings only beat the 49ers at home by eight points, and they had Jimmy Garoppolo. So, I don't know, let's just think about that. Let's not get, let's just focus on playing for the Vikings. Let's just, everybody focus on, on playing your game, okay? Let's just stay focused. Bring our A game, always. So hopefully the Vikings can get the win today, and then they are on to the New York Jets, all right? So hopefully they can, um, they can go to three, two, and one with that weird, weirdo tie. So, uh, all right, let's go Vikings. Let's uh, let's just get out there. Let's let's just let's just play. Let's just play the win. Larry Fitzgerald. It's gonna be a little bit of a little bit of a swan song for him. So that that'll be all. That'll be all nice and fuzzy probably until he scores a lot of points for the Arizona Cardinals and then the Cardinals end up beating the Vikings. But ugh. okay. Um, oh man, I didn't even think about a score. But I'm wrapping this up because this is like seven minutes. Oh my god, way too long. Um, I think the Vikings are gonna win this one. I'm going to say 20, I'm going to say 28, yeah, I'm gonna, okay, I'm going to say the Vikings are going to get 28, I'm going to say the, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Arizona's going to get 14, I, I'm, I'm, I'm being, yeah, I'm going to say 14, hopefully there are two touchdowns by Larry Fitzgerald and we can all get those warm and fuzzy, fuzzy feelings that everybody besides me gets. Um, anyway, Vikings, I think, are going to win this one. So, after today, on to New York. But, let's focus on today. Get the win against the birdies. What the hell? I'm wearing red! I didn't even realize I'm wearing red! I got my purple and purple and gold on, though, for the Vikings. This is not a cardinal shirt. This is a little witch hat. It's, it's Halloween-themed. Okay, I didn't even realize that was happening. Go Vikings. Go out and get the win today. Rooting for you. Alright.